Hey guys, Sierra Hull here, and I'm excited to just take a couple minutes to share with you how I've personally been planting the seeds of music through practice. Um, it's sort of the beauty of being a musician is that there's always something new to explore and learn and work on. For me lately, um, one of the things that I've been spending a lot of time with is this really fun program that uh, I have on my phone called Transcribe kind of looks like this and uh, the cool thing is is you can load any song out of your music library directly into here so I was on a walk the other day and I heard this song called Together by Harry Nilsson uh, wasn't one I was familiar with but it has this piano part um, that I thought would sound really cool on the mandolin and uh, also it's a, a vocal song so I'll play a little bit of his version here It's got that arpeggiated melody underneath the horn. Okay, so that's in the key of F. Life isn't easy. It's kind of low for me, right? So that's not the best key for my voice. So if I was going to learn it, I could learn it in F, but then I'd have to transpose it. Uh, which would be fine. I've done plenty of that in the past, but the exciting thing about this app is there's two wonderful features about it. You can slow down the speed, so it's easier to learn some things um, by just being able to hear them at a slower speed, but you can also change the pitch just by simply moving this little tab. So I'm actually going to go up um, maybe four semitones to A, which, uh, who knows, you know, I'm, I'm still learning it myself, but let's hear what that sounds like. So now we have it in a different key. Of course, I've been kind of learning. So that's that's more in my my range. Okay, well it's a little fast. I don't even really know all the words to it, to it yet, but. Um, the other cool thing is that you can slow it down. So let's go to maybe 75% um, percent. and let me rewind a little and then you can just hear how much it's nice to... <laughs> see how that works and I just I think it's been super fun so then I can um, you know have practiced it along with the recording in the key that I want to do it in and then of course the main thing you always want to do is not only play along with the recording but make sure that when you're off the recording that you can play it on your own and so like I said I'm just learning this but um, what I would probably do next after spending some time with this is no matter what stage if I can barely play it or I've really learned to play it I'm constantly videoing myself as a musician so that I can review the things that I'm working on and I think sometimes when you're in the middle of working on something it's difficult to um, really have a strong perception of where you're at with it so I really find being able to video stuff and watch it back is really helpful so tell I'll probably work on it in a higher key for my voice but anyway that's just kind of um, a fun program to play along with and it's been bringing me a lot of joy in working on new music and particularly things that I want to play and sing so anyway I hope that's helpful happy practicing